What's up, players? Welcome to another film study. We're looking at part two of Steph Curry. You can see part one. Just go to the description below. I've got a free shooting workout. This is a 500-shot workout. If you have not gotten it, here's what you can do to get it. Just subscribe to my channel, like this video, and then drop a comment below. And then go to Instagram, and you can send me a screenshot of your subscription. I've got a lot of workouts. I'll throw in this 500-shot workout and a bunch of other ones if you haven't gotten it already. If you're already subbed to my channel, just DM me, and I'll send it to you. But what we looked at in part one were split actions and some other things, but we're going to start part two of this video with split action. So um, a split action is when the post is fed and then there's a screen on the perimeter. So I'm going to fast forward actually a little bit and show you a diagram of it. So a split cut, um, there's a post feed and then a perimeter screen. So there's different variations of it, but step one in a split cut is guard to wing pass and then the wing feeds the post and then step two is there's a perimeter screen so the wing could set a screen for the guard or the guard could set a screen for the wing variations to it but this is the basic essence of a split cut so in the last video I'm going to show you these three plays here we looked at it where it goes post feed somebody would screen for Steph Curry and then he goes up and shoots a three-point shot so this one here he faked like he was using the screen and then this is another one as well so post feed then came off the screen so in this video we're just going to look at the counter off of that so you can see in this diagram on the right the guard can either curl over the wing screen and then they'd get a pass right here for a three or they can back door so these first couple clips here we're going to look at a back door off of a split cut so right here it's a post feed Steph Curry goes to set the screen for Clay Thompson and he ends up going with the back door so this is a great move to do especially as always, um, against the defense, if you if you perform a certain move a couple amount of times, then the defense might expect that you're going to go for the three, and then from there, get a backdoor cut. So you can see Steph Curry changed speed, had a good fake on the screen. This is going to be another one here. So it's post feed, split cut, and then Steph Curry isn't even going to use the screen. He's just going to go straight cut, straight cut to the rim. Now on the next one, it's much of the same. Fake the screen, and then he's going to split the cut. So the key in each of these clips right here were two things. One was actually looking like a very, very realistic screen. That's important. Well, actually on, um, on this play right here, it was just a straight cut because he saw the lane for the cut. But on the other two clips was... A good a good screen so it looks like he's gonna fake the, it looks like he's gonna actually set the screen right here and then the defense is on his back right here so because the defense is on his back and the other defender is, a, is above him he's able to cut straight to the rim and two the weak side defenders are not engaged so normally from the defensive perspective so players take a second to imagine you're one of the defenders on the weak side most you know 99% of teams don't want to be hugging this weak side guy unless they're an incredible shooter of course KD is and the NBA is a little different but for the most part this defender and this defender they should be on the midline and they should be seeing both ball and their man this defender right here has no idea where Steph Curry is and this defender is anticipating a down screen so they're out of position so the weak side spacing also is what enables Steph Curry to cut to the rim in these plays for a layup now some scoring moves that we're going to look at that players, I think all players need to have these within their skill package is a shot fake drive. We'll look at each of these. An efficient dribble, I'll explain more of that. You need to have, all guards need to master one shot from six to 10 feet out. So this is not a layup, it's not a finger roll. It's maybe two big strides out from the rim. It's when you have a post defender between you and the rim and you gotta shoot a two foot floater, a runner like Trey Young uses. Just master one of those shots and that'll be good for your game. Um, four and five, catch an immediate drive, and then a retreat and go dribble, which we'll look at. And then another key, um, I don't know if you could call this a scoring move, but it leads to scoring moves, and uh, scoring moves, and that's going body to body on screens. So we're gonna look at these right here. So this looks like another split cut, where there was a post feed, Iguodala, screened the defender here Steph Curry comes off it's kind of a high pass but it's a shot fake and then two dribbles to the rim so on the shot fake right here 
the most important thing on your shot fake is be a good shooter. If this, if you're a bad shooter, your shot fake isn't going to work because the defense shouldn't jump. So to have a good shot fake, be a good shooter. But second, assuming you're a good shooter, Steph Curry's shot right here looks exactly like when he shoots it. So his knees are bent, his hips are down, and his eyes are up to the rim. Your shot fake has to look exactly like your shot. Some coaches that I've learned from have said, a shot fake is your normal shot, so you're actually – shooting the ball you're just stopping your shot so that could be one way to think of it and then the second skill is an efficient dribble so he is well beyond the three-point line here and the NBA line is further than normal lines but he's still able to get to the rim and only two dribbles and then the last thing this is a good move to have is a pass fake against help defense so just this eye fake and ball fake causes the defender to pause for just a second and then he goes to the rim so this one is focused on going shoulder to shoulder off of a screen but the first thing to notice here is his multiple actions so what Steph Curry does first is he sets a back screen by setting this back screen his defender has to worry about guarding the cutter so it's not really a great screen but it's back screen into a handoff and you can see here body to body Steph Curry's shoulder is almost against Looney's rib cage you could say usually a lot of people will say go shoulder to hip. I don't think that's always realistic, but you want to be low and you want to be body to body off of these screens so that your defender actually gets hit and you get find yourself in an offensive advantage. So here's the one dribble pull up or the, the third point I talked about, which was um, the, the shot to master from six to 10 feet out. So this is kind of like a, you can see here, he goes off one foot right here, but it's just a one foot floater with touch. This is a move you've got to practice a lot. I suggest, like if you're, if, you know, your workouts, I think getting 20 of these with your right hand and 20 of these with your left hand are great to do before practice. You know, going from the, going from the wing, going from the top of the key, and then going from the corner also. And then another thing I wanted to point out in this specific clip is Steph Curry's change of speed. So watch him right here. He's going to change speeds, and then he's going to perform a juke move also. So he's walking, stops, does a juke move, juke move, and then sprints. So to change, to get open, you got to be able to change speeds. you got to be able to juke your defender out, and then you've also got to be able to have that 6 to 10-foot shot um, like a floater. All right, so an immediate drive right here. This might have been a travel, actually. But this is an efficient drive right here. So he catches the ball. Let's see. Yeah, this is uh, yeah, this is a, a travel. But nonetheless, he gets away with it. But this move right here, if you're coming off of a down screen and your defender is right on your back, first of all, he's body to body, so that puts his defender at a disadvantage. But if your defender's right on your back and there's a driving lane, get straight downhill for a finish. And then another move he does here, which we saw a second ago, was the pass fake. So you can see Drew Holiday when he was on the Pelicans, he bites for this pass fake that Steph has. So that's another great skill to add to your skill package is just a ball fake on a drive, and I think he traveled again there. So you can perform these moves without traveling. And one other thing I wanted to point out is imagine imagine you're in KD's situation, so you pass the ball to a teammate and they just receive the down screen and you're one or two big strides away in perfect basketball, what would happen is KD, first of all, would have delivered this pass from the opposite side of the floor. So maybe um, if you go to the elbow and then straight to the three-point line from that area, because then by passing it from that area, he takes his help defense out of the way. But second, if you ever find yourself in a situation and you make this pass and you're one big stride or two small strides away from the passer, make this pass and then immediately space out. So perfect basketball, KD would have spaced out immediately after making this pass so that he could have taken his defender out of help on Steph Curry's drive. But nonetheless, gets away with it. Basketball is an imperfect game, and sometimes what you're taught to do, you don't do, and it still works. This is a great move right here. Actually, for, I didn't include this in the first screen, but this I wanted to. But this is just a fake rip, so it's a catch. So catching on two feet or, or one foot, and you're just faking – like you're going to drive to one side, bring the basketball down to your hip, and then you're getting with an, an efficient dribble to the rim. So he gets two dribbles to the rim, and he's able to finish. So that's a great move. You know, this is another one you can practice 
practice 20 of these fake left drive right and 20 fake right drive left you know you can do these before or after practice great move and efficient with the dribble so here's the retreat and go dribble this is an amazing amazing move so right here in transition Steph Curry is attacking he takes two slight back dribbles and Jay Crowder is on Utah but watch Jay Crowder so First of all, Steph goes from running to a complete stop, and then as he takes this retreat dribble, Jay Crowder is stepping up the floor. So when you take that retreat dribble and your defender is moving up the floor, like watch Jay, Jay Crowder right here, he's moving up the floor, she's moving up the floor, that's when you got them in a perfect position and you cross over and then drive to the rim. Great move for all guards to have. And this is the last one here is again to get open sometimes it's multiple actions so right here I don't know what the play call was it could have been a handoff but first of all it's a face cut from KD and then it's a screen so getting open sometimes is going to take two three four five actions maybe especially against good teams but it's a face cut and then from here almost body to body in a perfect world again you know the shoulder would be against who's the screener here I don't even know. But the perf in a perfect world, it would be shoulder to the screener's body. doesn't go exactly that way, but it's still pretty tight. Rubio gets caught in the screen, and then Seth Curry goes up for the jump shot. And, of course, he makes it. So, again, if uh, that's part two of the Steph Curry study. Check out part one. If you want this free shooting work, workout, 500 shots, just subscribe to this channel. DM me at Mason Waters underscore um, a screenshot of your subscription. I'll send more workouts in this. Hopefully, players, you found this helpful. Look forward to sharing more with you, and thanks for watching.